The Queen's reign is effectively overdue to the COVID-19 pandemic, with the virus practically putting Charles on the throne, a royal biographer has claimed. Andrew Morton, author of Diana, Her True Story, which exposed the failed marriage of Charles and the Princess of Wales in 1992, said coronavirus has done more damage to the monarchy than Oliver Cromwell. It comes after it was reported Her Majesty, 94, may remain in self-isolation for months and never return to regular frontline royal duties as the government continues to ease the coronavirus lockdown over the coming weeks. The Queen has put all her public engagements on hold while she resides with her husband Prince Philip at Windsor Castle. Speaking to The Telegraph, Morden claimed, It's terribly sad but I can't see how the Queen can resume her job. The COVID-19 virus isn't going away soon and will be with us for months if not years. He added that it would be far too risky for the Queen to start meeting people on a regular basis. She has always loved getting out and meeting people but she can't take the risk, he explained. The brutal truth is that her reign is effectively over. COVID-19 has done more damage to the monarchy than Oliver Cromwell. Corona has practically put Charles on the throne. Royal biographer Morton, 66, previously told The Sun he fears the Queen, whose schedule is not expected to resume until the autumn may never be able to return to her regular duties and will most likely be seen on TV or video links rather than in public. Last month a spokeswoman for Buckingham Palace said the monarch continues to be busy, conducting a weekly audience with the Prime Minister by phone and receiving her daily red boxes of government papers. They added that Her Majesty will follow appropriate advice on engagements and is keeping in touch with her family by phone and video calls. Buckingham Palace will be closed for the summer for what is believed to be the first time in 27 years, with events including Trooping the Color this weekend and Her Majesty's Garden Parties cancelled. It is believed to be the monarch's longest absence from her official duties in her 68-year reign. The Queen, who delivered an electrifying speech on V-Day praising Britain's spirit during lockdown, has said in the past that she feels she has to be seen to be believed so the measures are expected to be felt deeply. Her last public engagement was the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey in March, which was also Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's final official appearance as senior members of the royal family. A royal source told The Sunday Times, the Queen won't do anything which goes against the advice of people in her age category and she's going to take all the appropriate advice. She'd want to be seen to be being responsible in her actions. Earlier today the Queen took part in her first public video call, following the lead of senior members of her family who have used the medium to continue with their royal duties in lockdown. She joined the Princess Royal, 69, on a conference call with four carers living across the UK who have been responsible for looking after family during the coronavirus crisis. Speaking from a sitting room at Windsor Castle, the Queen spent 20 minutes listening to the women about their experiences and asking questions about the pressures they face.